Well, I would say most of the time I knew I made the right choice. Like through high school, my goal was to play in college. So if you have a goal that's really big, and I mean, I never really thought about going back. Unlike most athletes, junior golfer Autumn Duke didn't pick up her sport as a toddler. But like many athletes, she got started through her family. Definitely my dad. He was a big golf influence and he's what got me started and he knew it kind of wasn't going anywhere and he wanted me to be in a sport that I could continue on with for the rest of my life. So I would say my dad was definitely the biggest impact on golf. She started playing competitively in eighth grade, but by her senior year, Duke had a decision to make, where to play in college. My senior year, it was pretty much a last minute decision. Um, I chose Ball State and once I came on my official visit, the official visits are like the most fun, but you get to really meet the team and coach and um, this team and coach is definitely what made the process so exciting. She has a wonderful personality. She's, she's very competitive. She's very passionate about what she does. She um, works very hard. But 11 years ago, Duke began to grasp a different sport. Oh, well, first I started out as an ice skater, and it's one of those things where you get burnout with, kind of like gymnastics or injured or something. So at age nine, I was definitely burnt out with skating since I started at age two. And um, a lot of people that I skated with, we all were still being homeschooled. So a good friend of mine, her dad owned a climbing gym. And so probably around age 10 is when I started competitively rock climbing. She competed with a team, but quickly ascended in the individual national rankings, placing 14th in her first national competition. The next year, second. It was that very next year when I was in the 14-15 category that Winning Worlds placed me on the USA team, and the top four from each category, men and women, get to go to the Worlds, which that year it happened to be in Scotland. So I went over there, and you compete with um, 32 different countries, have their teams there as well. And competition and setup wise, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just you, the people you once competed against are now your team. So it's just like USA coming together and competing against different countries. But while in Scotland competing, she missed four golf matches for her eighth grade team. This left Duke with another significant decision. I knew when I got back, if I wanted to do golf competitively in high school and stuff, I was gonna have to make a decision. And at that point, like rock climbing, it's not that it's not like going anywhere, it's just I knew I wanted to have the opportunity to play a sport in college. So right when I got back from Worlds, I completely gave it up like the day I got back and just decided to like go full on with golf. She traded in her harness for clubs, but not her key trait to success. Probably the biggest characteristic is just having like a very just like tunnel vision because in climbing, um, you just have to like stay completely focused and not let any outside things affect you and that's a really big thing with golf is just like it's you in the course and just staying really focused. It seems she's mastered it all but there's still one thing she has yet to do. I think coaching is the ultimate job. I think coaching in college would be awesome so um, that's definitely an option too.